The younger generation, popularly called Gen Z, has been tasked to participate actively in the decision-making process of government in Nigeria. This charge was given at an interactive session organized by the Saints Foundation at the University of Lagos. Our correspondent, Emmanuel Olubabakun, tells us more. Nigerian youths can significantly impact the outcome of the 2023 elections and the cry for a new Nigeria if they are intentional about what the future means to them. It is against this background that youths have converged on the University of Lagos at this interactive session. The bottom line is that the most recent data on voter registration by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, suggests that youths have a historic role to play in the forthcoming election. They have an incredible demographic advantage and, if they choose to, can decide the outcome of the election in any way they deem favourable to Nigeria. However, this is by a long short, as their participation in politics in the past leaves much to be desired. Speakers at today's session, including Labour Party's governorship candidate in Lagos, Badibo Rudes Favor, as well as a candidate for the Lagos State House of Assembly, Tunde Pratt, spoke in unison on the need for young people to take charge in politics and reduce the rate of migration to other countries. Government does not invest in your education, in your health care. You are going to be a product of these failed experiences. No matter how well you study in school, no matter how diligent you are at your work, you cannot Niger-proof yourself from bad governance. So for all of those that have not yet gotten their voters' cards, please, I encourage you to do so. A lot of people are coming into elections for the first time, even though people might have been in their 20s, etc., they're voting for the first time. Because the, 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 the entire economy of Nigeria, everyone is now awake to it. Honestly, it's a good time for people to be young. It's a good time for people to be involved. This event shifted to a question and answer session. Many students who attended took advantage of the opportunity. The concerns on their mind centered on how to achieve a better Nigeria and solve the growing challenge of unemployment. As expected, the responses followed. To move from consumption to production, it means that your farms are secure. It means that the roads to the urban centers where those produce from the farms are being grown is secure. And a lot of reasons why people are moving out and jackpotting from Nigeria is insecurity. These students also share their thoughts on the popular Jackpa syndrome and what their rules for a better Nigeria should be. The saying that says, once there are problems, then definitely there are solutions, and solutions bring about wealth. So we want to let the youths know that all these problems, we don't need to wait until the government to solve them. We ourselves can solve it. So we're just trying to let them know that you guys don't need to travel out for greener pasture. We need to plant our own seeds and turn our own grass green. One of the reasons why I want to leave the country, based on this current state of things, is because of my academics. You know, it's, it is better when you are in a country where you know that you don't have to worry about strike and all of that. A lot of people in this country, we are smart, we are strong, we are talented. So I don't know why everybody is actually planning on traveling out in quotes, basically. Because the truth is, you say things are hard in Nigeria, which are actually, Nigeria is not the easiest, let me put it that way, but you staying abroad, like living abroad, working abroad, staying abroad, paying your rent, your transport, is basically the same thing. Issues stifling youth participation and representation are often economic, as the cost of running for office is usually exorbitant. Above all, Nigerian youths were advised to shun voter apathy and pick credible and competent candidates who can represent their interests. Emmanuel Olubobokun Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.